Hello guys, today we are going to solve the sum example in the MATLAB programming language using the script applications, okay? And so this uh, convenient for the all the equations and the examples are related to the convolutional operation in programming language, okay? First of all, we need to give the clear all, close all, and CSC. These are the predefined commands for the what uh, for clearing the whole the data and closing the all the figures and the command history can be deleted using the what the CSC commands. Okay. Firstly, <coughs> we need to build the one D one dimensional signal convolution. Okay. This is the first example. <coughs> so, in the first place, we need to define the two discrete signals with the <coughs> sampling frequency of the 100 and the T, the total time duration for a given this FS. And so, which means that we need to utilize the what the four times 100 which equals to the what? The 400 values should be used in the convolution operation, okay? And so we need to create the vector just like this one, 0, 2, 1 divided by fs. <coughs> These are the step number in here. And until now, until t, okay? <coughs> and so in order to convolve two signal, we need to define two signal first of all the signal one is a square wave active between the sum period for example one and two seconds in here okay and so x1 should be created in here with the zeros and one and also we should give the length value in here just like this one t okay because we have the total duration which is given in the what the t variable t vector okay and so we need to assign the what the square wave for this signal. X1 can be conditioned with the what the t greater than equal to 2 and t smaller than equal to 3 must be assigned with the 1. Okay? We can assign the any signal in the array structure of the MATLAB by using this notation okay and so this condition is true and then this variable or the indices are assigned with the what with the one value <coughs> secondly we need to define the second signal in here just like this one defined as desired signal for example an impulse okay or we can define the unit step or square wave okay x2 can be defined with the what the zeros value one length of t okay and so we have the one row value and we have the length of the t column value in here okay and x2 can be conditioned with the what the with the t is greater than equal to 1 and t smaller than equal to 2 can be assigned with the 1 which is what the, this is the square signal okay so <coughs> how can we calculate the convolution of this signal it's important first of all we need to create the pre arcade the convolution results in here okay y should be assigned with the what the zeros value but this is the first row value is equal to the one but the convolution is the collection of the these two signal which means that we need to give the length x1 plus length x2 plus or minus one okay these are size for the what for the y or the output signal 
in this discrete convolutional operation okay <coughs> because we have a H signal and the input signal in here just like this one and then if we want to convolve this two signal in the discrete format we need to create a double times array vector to what to store the whole the values which is given in here okay we have the some specific function in the MATLAB such as the cone function which is returning to do what to our convolution result but if you want to perform the manual convolution we need to build the nested for loop in here for example n is equal to the one to length y because we need to create at each time to what to convolution results in here just like this one and also we have a pattern or the impulse or the convolved function in here apart from the what the input signal and so we need to also define k is equal to the one to length x1 okay <coughs> and an and should be given in here okay and so how can we calculate this value for example if n minus key plus one if greater than zero which means that if we have the n is equal to the one and k is equal to the one and so at each time the k is convolved with the what the, with the related in this in here but for example f is equal to the one but the k is equal to the five which means that this cannot yield the convolution results in here because to what if we have this information in here and then we cannot multiply in the what in the discrete domain and so we need to give this condition in here also we need to give the this condition n minus k plus one smaller than equals to what the length of x2 because we have a pattern convolved signal in here convolutional pattern up to what up to x2 signal okay <coughs> so can give the and in here and y and at each time y and plus x1 k times x2 and minus k plus 1 okay <coughs> we can calculate the whole the convolution based on the what based on this information this is important to know that because the, if we want to implement this algorithm in the what in the microcontroller structure or the c or c plus plus language for an embedded system and so we need to give or write this convolutional algorithm with the nested loop structure okay <coughs> so this is our algorithm just given in here just like this one and so how can we visualize the whole the results in here first they adjust time vector for the convolution results in here t cone is equal to zero and uh, one fs the r step number in here and also length y should be given in here with the minus one and also we need to give the what the fs okay <coughs> this is important because of this length y is the double times of the water x1 and x2 right so how can we visualize all the results in here figure subplot 311 and plot t x1 and title signal 1 x1 x label is the time sec y label is the amplitude and x limb should be limited with what the 0 to t okay and also subplot should be given in here just like this one 0 1 2 and the second subplot in here just like this one we can copy of all of these things in here x2 
and signal two and signal two sec amplitude okay and also subplot three one three okay and we need to write the plot t cone comma y okay and title convolution results which means that x1 and x2 okay and x label time sec and y label amplitude and x lim should be limited with the what with the zero to t value is the time limitation and y lim should also be given here just like this one zero to max t com ah, no, no no i'm sorry this cannot be given in here so <coughs> if i run this code and then we will have the r convolution results just like this one okay for example we have the x2 signal x1 signal and so after the three seconds we have the what the increasing pattern in here just like this one for example if we have or if we don't have used the what this algorithm instead of the what the max t cone in here just like this one and so we have the one and we have two to three value in here just like this one and so we can create the water three to one hundred and five okay but just remember that this signal is one and the other signal is up to what the one but the our convolutional result is 100 what's the meaning of this this meaning it means that we have the fs signal in here just like this one is a 100 which means that at each iteration we can multiply or the integral values creates to what to up to 100 values for this algorithm so in order to normalize your signal you should divide your signal with the division of the what the y divided by fs okay this is the normalized convolution no pattern in here okay so at each time we know that at a tree we have the what the increased signal in here just like this one and so up to four value in here and then we will have to what to maximum value which means that x1 and x2 is multiplied or the is <coughs> covering the same area at these notations okay for example if you have this information and then we can create the, another pattern in here just like this one we can define the <coughs> new x2 signal in here for example like t um, at t is equal to zero and so this is the impulse <coughs> signal okay <coughs> at this time we have the two to three value we have two to three seconds at the what at amplitude values of uh, these terms and so this presents to the what to the r signal notation but in the impulse response we should not use the fs value because we don't have the any iteration in here just like this one and so two to three two to three seconds are given in the what in the amplitude of the these terms okay this is important so this is the first example related to what our convolution study and so <clears throat> also we can use the 1d signal convolution in cone function this is the predefined function which is given in the MATLAB and so 
we can build or the evaluate the performance of this function also in here okay and so t mean is zero t max is five and after that we can define the time vector in here just like this one the fs for example one thousandths this is sampling frequency and the t can be defined with what the t mean one divided by fs and t max can be given in here okay and also we can define the t output value in here okay t mean one divided by fs and two times t max okay because in the convolution integral we doubled to the what to the size of the r vector okay <coughs> firstly we can define the impulse response of h t which is equal to minus exponential minus t okay and so the h can be defined with what the x values in here minus t t mean value okay because this is the standard operation for the what for the initial condition at this case we have the zero value at the t mean we can remove these terms but if we want to apply the any other values such as the we can assign the t mean is equal to two and then we should apply this algorithm in here just like this one okay and also we can define the input signal for example the ut is equal to the one okay unit step function and u assigns or created with the what the ones and the length of t okay and after that we can compute the convolution in here y is equal to what the cone h u okay but we need to know that uh, we should also give the what the one divided by fs should be multiplied with this convolution operation because it's a normalization form of the r signal okay so we can visualize the whole the results using the subplots 0 1 1 1 and plot t minus t min should be given in here because it's important it scales the r output for the what for the impulse response okay uh, so the title impulse <coughs> response h t okay and also x label time sec and y label amplitude okay and x limb should be given in the what uh, minus 5 to 10 okay this is time section and grid one should be given in here after that we should also define to what to input signal u okay and this is the input signal ut and time and sec and 5 minus 5 and 10 and this one okay and so we can also copy after this term in here the tree here and this must be equalized with what the t output okay and y and this is the what the output signal at this case the dimension of the y is double time of the what the template pattern and the input signal okay <coughs> So, if I run this code, and then we will have these results in here. For example, if we have the exponential term, or if we have this kind of impulse response for a given system, and then if we apply the amplitude of the, the, this term, and then we will have to add this kind of output in here, just like the first order dynamics of the R algorithms, okay? And so, our algorithm is run or is okay with the what with this notation or <coughs> if we have this information 
we can define for example the you know, zeros value or we can copy of these terms in here just like this one we can apply the what the u t is equals to the zero at the one and so if i run this code and then this is the impulse response of the r system and so this system is given with the what with this notation but the output signal is equals with the what with the impulse response okay for the r modeling impulse okay these are the example of the what the convolution operation for the what for r algorithms okay this is the 1d signal and this is important just remember that if you have this information and then we can convolve any signal for a given the template pattern of the system dynamic impulse response of the system for example the mass spring damper system or the what the rc circuit and then we can generate the what the our results in the what in terms of the convolutional integral we can calculate the output of these terms because we have the time scaling template function to generate this output okay okay what about the two-dimensional convolution it's another important parameter for the what for especially for the embedded, embedded system applications okay <clears throat> firstly we can define the simple 2d signal such as the signal just like this one the 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 6 7 8 9 10 11 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay. And after that, we should define the averaging filter, which we call it the kernel. Okay. In two dimension, we can say that this is kernel. Okay. Firstly, we need to give the what the kernel size in here, just like this one, and so the kernel can be defined with the what the ones and kernel size and kernel size divided by the what the kernel size times kernel size. Okay. The second operation or the division operation is directly related to the what are normalization operation for averaging pattern okay <clears throat> so for the convolution results we should give the cone to the signal and the kernel okay And after that, we should visualize the whole the results in here. Subplot 1, 2, 1. Okay. And image SE, the signal value in here. And title should be given the original signal in here. Okay. And also color map should be given as the gray in here. Just like this one. Uh, And color bar can be used as in here. Axis image. Ensure the aspect ratio is the what is one and one. Okay. And also <coughs> we can define the subplot one two two. Okay. Image S C the cone results must be given at this time. Okay. And title after 2d convolution okay and color map should be assigned with the gray value and color bar and axis image should be given in here okay after the this operation we need to 
give that these values should be averaged due to the what? Due to convolution operation. Okay. <coughs> uh, but we have the some uh, subplots. Okay. See, we have the black tones in here and up to what the white tones at this time, but after the convolution operation and then we will average all the what all the patterns in order to what in order to distribute it equally at each space just like this one okay so we can easily apply this algorithm based on these informations okay <coughs> <coughs> so the final example about the convolution operation is the mass spring damper system for a given unit step response in every era of the system dynamics control theory or the digital signal processing we can apply this unit step response to the what for a given system or the system equation and so we can build this algorithm just like this one t mean is equals to zero t max is equals to the five and we need to define the time vector in here with the sampling rate of the one thousandths and so the t t mean and one divided by fs and t max should be given in here also we need to give the t output value here just like this one t output <coughs> terms of the two, two times t max okay <coughs> so what is the impulse response of the what of our mass spring test just like this one first if we need to give the t absolute value in here t minus t mean and h can be defined with the sqrt q that times exponential t apps that time sinus q that time sqrt q that times t absolute value that times 9 divided by 4 okay these are general pattern for a given what the mass spring damper system okay where it's coming from it's coming from the what if we have this mass spring damper system we can take the laplace transform of this system for example one divided by ms carré plus cs plus k right and so if we apply the direct data function in here and then we will get what the inverse laplace transform of this general pattern for a given dirac delta function and so this direct delta function gives us this solution in here okay <coughs> and also we can define the input signal just like this one u is the ones length of t okay after that we should give the y convolution h and u times one divided by fs okay these are the convolutional results so i need the figure subplot 311 and plot t minus t mean and h and title this is the impulse response right ht x label should be assigned with the time sec and y label <coughs> is assigned with the water amplitude okay and x lim should be given in the minus 5 to 10 and grid on okay in the second place we will write to what to in here t 
t minus t min u value is in here and the input signal ut okay and after that we should draw the what the output signal but this output signal should be written with what a t output and y and this is also the output signal okay and so if i run this code and then we will have this template pattern for a given what the m c k parameters in here and after that if we apply the input or unit step signal just like this one and then we will have this kind of output in here just like the under damped system response for a given the mass spring damper system <coughs> okay so after that we have the five value in here just like this one and after that we apply the zero value and in the zero value we have the this diminishing values at the what at this signal okay so we can easily analyze the signals based on the what the convolutional integral in order to what in order to generate the r response for a given template pattern just like the this impulse response template where is it coming from it's directly coming from the what the direct delta function which is applied on the what the laplace transformation of the mass spring damper system okay that's all